me showing the kids the cool stuff I can do. Uh oh. Oh, that type of hyper extension for your back is really problematic because you have these two arteries that run on either side of your spine in, on the back portion called the vertebral arteries. And if you hyper extend, you could actually cause damage and bleeding to one of those arteries. When they actually talk about those really rare instances when something, someone uh, has like a stroke post chiropractor neck adjustment, it's usually due to damage to one of these vertebral arteries and it comes from positioning people in hyper extension. You don't want to do that. A coworker just called me while I'm on vacation and he told me that he wants to change his name to Spinal Column. And he said, well, I'm busy right now. I'll just call you back. <sighs> A coworker of mine called me to say that he wants to change his name to Spinal Column. And I said, I'm busy right now. I'll call you back. Uh... <laughs> oh! So he's going to call him back. Nailed it. A Dr. Mike's back. Wow. Baseball trick shots. Wait. OK. <gasps> what? I hope that was a wiffle ball bat. Because if that was a metal bat, he's going to have a scar. Bruce, it's not a good place to get hit. You don't want to get hit in the temple. Oh, that's a really high dive. Oh my God, is this legal? Wait, what did I just watch? First of all, was that real? I'm not sure what well, was they were parachuting, there. so they were gonna parachute. I guess so. Because if you jump from that high, even if you're jumping into a, a body of water, that's like hitting cement at that height. Oh my God! Talk about a near miss. If that landed on a rib, definite broken rib. Definite broken rib, potential lung trauma, potential pneumothorax, chest tube insertion, all the works. I'm getting headaches every day to the point where ibuprofen doesn't even like help me anymore. That could be a form of a migraine that's called an intractable migraine where you're unable to cure it with medications. In those instances, if it's truly not breaking for a long period of time, I'm investigating hardcore, which can mean getting an MRI brain scan. Who? <laughs> the pill? Say it again. Ibuprofen? Ibuprofen. I be a who? Who, who are you being? I, ibuprofen? That's kind of funny. It's ibuprofen, but- Ibuprofen. You can't make fun of people for misstating medical names. I'm a doctor. I can't say half of them. Hydroxychloroquine. Hydrochlorothiazide. Hydroxychloroquine. Hydroxy- Hydroxyzine. Hydroxychloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine. Hydrothiazide. I invented this constipation unclogging toilet. The design is very human. We just need to sit on it, then activate the switch. This will completely solve the oh, problem of constipation. God. This looks like a legit device from Saw 94, which I believe is the number that they're currently on right now. I can only imagine how much rectal bleeding will happen if you sit on that device. And I wish I didn't have to imagine that. Oh, that was a good jab. That's why you always got them on their kids around pets. A lot of things can go wrong, even if the pet loves your child. They could think they're playing, but they play too rough with a child who is fragile to some degree. So I always have people asking me, they're like, Catherine, why do you drink green water every day? And first of all, this is not green water. This is chlorophyll water. And second of all, this is like the best life hack I've ever learned in my entire life. What is I'm going to look this up because I'm behind on my knowledge of chlorophyll water. And by the way, I'm someone who tries to get uh, plant-based products in me as often as possible. And I recommend it to people because plant phenols are important. These are nutrients that we need. So I'm just curious what people say it this does. The claim is that it improves skin, helps weight loss, detoxes the body and more. At this time, most of the research on chlorophyll has been on animals or in small human studies that lack real evidence on its potential benefits. But let's see what our influencer friend promises us. You literally will not smell. Your sweat does not smell. The reason people smell is because when they sweat, especially if they're stress sweating, the composition of their sweat is slightly different than thermoregulating sweat. As a result, the bacteria that lives on their body that doesn't give two shits if you drink chlorophyll water or regular water, consume the substance within the sweat and then fart. I feel like when I watch these videos, I only give harsh negative criticism, although it is warranted. So I'm gonna say, I like this influencer shirt. I think it's a cool shirt. The horse looks like it's having a good time. So does the person riding it. I like horses. That's the positive thing I have to say about this video. Oh no, Steve-O, getting the blood choke. 
A lot of people think in a situation like this, your trachea and your breathing is what's being blocked off. But in reality, the bicep muscle and the forearm muscle are putting pressure on the bilateral carotids. And when you put pressure on the carotids, you stop circulation from reaching the brain. As a result, you pass out and you faint. This actually is quite dangerous to do over and over again for obvious reasons, cutting off circulation to the brain is, is bad. There's also some things we do in medicine where we massage like the areas of the neck. And we always say never massage both at the same because you could inadvertently cause this type of side effect. He's lasting longer than I thought he would. He looks flaccid here though, I would stop. Oh, he looks worried. He was worried for a second. He's on camera murdering an individual. So these guys. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. What's up, buddy? First. Do you have a what? Can we go to Target first? <laughs> <laughs> he must be getting some serious pain meds because that scratch looks like it hurts. But remember, for most wounds that are not actively bleeding, for like a mild superficial wound, people rush to put Neosporin or this cream or that cream. Just washing it with just some soap and water. You don't even need the soap, just a little cool water. And then covering it with a bandage will allow it to heal naturally on its own. Obviously, if you start seeing signs of infection, redness, pain in the area, you should go see a doctor, get some proper first aid. But on your own, just a little rinse goes a long way. Oh, this feels dangerous. Okay. That feels dangerous. And the fact that they're all right behind each other, I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Bill! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Bill! <laughs> Bill! Oh. The good part is that they're not stopping and they're not hitting a hard surface. Because inertia is carrying them and because they're not hitting a hard surface, that reduces the likelihood of injury, but it's still, because of their motion and their speed, creates a risk of like sprains and strains and tears and things. But in terms of like breaking bones, I think the risk drops based on this type of activity. POV wedding day and the girlies are getting extra B12 shots for that extra boost. E is that going to Paltrow? No. Oh. Extra B12, when you have normal B12 levels, do not help you get extra boosts. Because if the body worked this way, we would just always take extra. Why would you ever have low B12, a normal B12? Just live at extra. Because there's side effects when there's extra. You could actually develop signs of B12 toxicity by getting extra B12 shots when you don't need them. This is like my third time of birth today, but like, honestly, it doesn't even get old. Why is she eating honestly, butter? <laughs> no, this is a joke. No one's eating three tubs of butter. Not only is this, I mean, everyone's gonna say this is unhealthy for your heart because of uh, all the saturated fats in there and the huge amounts that you're consuming, but also it's gonna create a really bad stomach ache because you're gonna need very heavy digestive enzymes in order to break down the amount of fats you're consuming. And when you can't, you're gonna have something known as steatorrhea. If you don't know what steatorrhea is, the kindest way that I can put it is fat in your poop. Do you want fat in your poop? I think not. Oh, these are so hard. Yes. These are like the Ninja Warrior exercises. Oh my God. No way this dude's about to do it. Whoa. No way. I'm cheering him on. Let's go. Finish, no, finish. Go through, I can't. Just do it, Nike. Just do it. Whoa, the amount of upper body strength and coordination and explosiveness that requires is understated. Most people struggle getting a pull up. This guy's jumping while pull upping. Pull upping? Pull, pull, pulling up. Pulling ups? Dad reflexes, I almost died at the end. Oh my God. No, 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 that, that's not even funny. I understand the joke here, but the risk that causes for your baby who has soft bones is, I would warn the father to never do that again. It, it's serious. Like you could destroy your life by doing that. And you're trying to be funny. So I'm gonna show you how to unblock that stuffy nose. Go to the top of the nose to the tip of the nose, right in the middle. Take these two fingers, push it right in there. You're gonna push in and pull it apart. If that's difficult, use your thumbs. Push in and pull it apart. Hold it there. 
You'll see within 10 seconds, your nose should start to open up. This is a thing that we actually do in osteopathic medicine called sinus effleurage. And we can actually uh, increase circulation to the area and help open things up and move things around. Obviously, it's not a miracle cure-all, but it does feel really good to massage your sinuses. And we sometimes even do that to uh, the cheeks and then going all the way down uh, to the lymph nodes down here. The only real contraindication where we wouldn't do this is if you have cancer in the area, we would worry about potential lymphatic spread. But for the average person, when they have like a little infection, doing that for your nasal passageways really feels good. I remember my, my dad doing this to me when I was a kid and I would literally feel better. My nose would clear out and it's not long-term relief, but you're not really looking for multi-day relief. If you get a few hours of a clear nose when you're sick, that feels nice. And especially very low risk. <gasps> Why? Scrotal trauma. The Guinness World Record for the most planks broken by a groin. Why would they allow that? What would happen to a woman if she ate she legit every day? <laughs> She legit? She legit. After 24 hours, her energy would increase as her body is filled with 87 out of 102 minerals. What is 102 minerals? I want to know how many minerals the human body can have. There are 16 different minerals that are known to be needed in our diets. But this thing gives you 102, okay. After a week, she'd notice looser fitting clothes due to the massive boost in her metabolism. What if she's eating 49 Snicker bars while she eats her she legit? She legit. Oh my god, what is that? Oh wow. That's oh, a magnet pulling out a BB. Wow, that's so interesting. I wonder why they never took it out. It looks like it's so superficial, it'd be probably an easy takeout. 70 years of working outside, but never leaving the house without pants. That's interesting. There's also definitely some kind of issue with uh, bruising, maybe potential hematomas from blood draws. And then there's also potentially some uh, venous insufficiency, which also can be called stasis dermatitis. Not diagnosing it, but these are all potential things that would be on the differential diagnosis. Wow, that's a weird shape for a bicep. I wonder if he's had an injury to that bicep because it looks like there was a history of a tear. It doesn't look like a, a full set of a bicep. What are we looking at here? Three babies. Need a lot of room for three babies. It's a lot of stretching. Oh, they're so cute. You are never going to have travel, bloating, or constipation again. Every single trip I go on, I bring a bag of chia seeds and electrolyte. I like chia seeds. I like electrolyte powder. It's not going to stop constipation. Add water, let it sit for 10 minutes, appreciate the view, and then get ready to have the best poop of your entire life. Okay, you're not going to... When you overpromise things and then they don't deliver, you lose trust in an audience. That's why I'm never going to overpromise you anything. Chia seeds with a little water and some electrolytes, great! I will not say it's bad. There's true legitimate benefit to having good nutrients like this. And if you're dehydrated, especially because you're on a hike and you're sweating a lot and it's a hot environment, yeah, getting some electrolytes in may be ideal. But like to say that you can have the best poop of your life, that's something that only an influencer would say. Is that lava on a steak? This is kind of pleasing to watch for some weird reason. Isn't that way hotter than like regular fire? Isn't it gonna just destroy the steak at this point? Whoa, did it like solidify? Oh, that's the lava. That's the lava. No way it's gonna be good on the inside. No, it's burnt to crisp. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. I wonder if you do that with a much thicker piece of meat, would it be as bad? Interesting. If a woman is obese, but she exercises every day, she will outlive the normal weight woman who doesn't exercise. If you don't exercise, you're gonna die sooner. What an incredible generalization. You cannot make a generalization to this degree with any amount of accuracy. So yes, someone who exercises and then someone who doesn't, if you were betting on someone who is healthier would be the person who exercises. But then putting in other factors and acting like you know which weight each factor has on your lifespan is a little ridiculous. These incredible medical rescues are definitely worth watching. You'll learn a lot and you'll see some shocking videos. Click here to check that out. As always, stay happy and healthy.